Hi, I'm sitting in the bow of our, of our luxurious 285 SS. It's the largest bow rider that we make in the H6 beam. Before we get started with a walkthrough, starting from the bow working our way to the transom, I did want to touch on a few key specs related to this boat. The LOA on the boat is 28 feet 6 inches. The beam is 86. The dead rise is 23 at the transom and 39 degree angle of entry at the bow. Also have a dry weight of 5750 to 5950. So depending on the engine and options selected. So those are a few key specs. It is by far one of our best running performance hulls. And for me to single that out when we have an entire line of performance uh, product really means that this boat is extra special. So please keep that in mind. If you're in the market to make a buying decision in a 27 to 28 foot bow rider, please take the time to run a 285 crown line. You'll love the performance, you'll love the way it gets up on plane and corners in every turn. So please keep that in mind because this is a very special hull bottom, one of our best in the marketplace. With that said, let's talk about the long list of value added standard features that come on the 285 SS. First of all, this boat comes standard with windlass. It also comes standard with docking lights. It also has forward cooler storage with 36 quart removable coolers. We have two carry-on coolers with this boat. One of them is stored in the forward cushion of the bow. We also have hot tub seating in both the driver and passenger forward portion of the bow. The 16 degree recline angle, and as I demonstrated before, they both have the flip up armrest to really allow yourself to lay back and enjoy the comfort of the bow design of this boat. As we transition to the oversized headrests, what I would like to point out is a couple of things. This raised fiberglass ridge is by design. It's not just to encase the oversized headrest, but it's also designed to dam water and improve the seal with the bow canvas that comes standard on this boat. That lip secures a tight fit with the canvas and directs water away from the bow of the boat with the secondary water dam. It's, we take all of these things into account when we're designing our sophisticated product. Under both cushions, there's large in-depth bow storage that can uh, accommodate many, many items. On this side, the whole profile picks up and is supported by a stainless steel shock. Easily snaps back in place. In addition on the bow design, we have our fender storage located here, just forward of the driver portion of the windshield. This allows you to take the outside fenders and store them in a chute in a netted basket. Stores up to five fenders there, easily convenient to get them out and to put them in place and stow them away when you're not using them. A, a real customer favorite in regards to one of the design layouts of this 285 deck. As we transition from the bow to the cockpit, a few things I'd like to point out. One, stainless steel windshield lock that keeps the windshield door locked in place so that there's no chance that it can come slamming shut if you hit a gust of wind or a rough wave. Reason that's important is because oftentimes, especially with small children, people's fingers can get caught in a slamming windshield. We really want to avoid uh, that safety concern when you're on the water. Transitioning from the bow to the cockpit, a couple other things I'd like to point out. One is the flush mount bow closeout doors. These doors lock in place and then can easily be stowed and moved back into the flush mount position, but they're really nice on cold weather days. If the temperature changes uh, as you're out on the water and gets colder at night, you can close off that bow portion of the door, keep the cockpit warm and protected. Also located over here is an access panel on the driver's side. We have a conveniently stowed garbage can there, but it also gives you access to the storage area underneath this huge cutout. Moving to the helm station, what I'd like to point out is the hand wrap double stitch brow that shields and, and reduces glare on the two five inch gauges you have here with stainless steel bezels. We have a depth sounder with outside air and water temperature, a trim gauge and a variety of additional accessory switches. The other thing to point out is on the uh, 285 SS, the Ray Marine A65 touchscreen with the gateway cable and engine information is all standard equipment. Also thing I'd like to point out is on the crown line you get premium rack and pinion steering with tilt steering wheel in addition to premium throttle and shift cables that are guaranteed not to bind or kink up, always ensuring a smooth shift into forward, neutral and reverse. Moving over to the oversized head compartment. Lots of neat features to point out here. First of all, the electric flush toilet is standard. We also have cabinetry on the upper and lower portion of the head compartment. We have a stainless steel sink, and most importantly, we have a removable handheld shower that allows you to hose off any dirt or grind or sand that you might have, 
All the water drains to the bottom of the head compartment, has a drain port that drains to the bilge and exits the boat. So it's a really functionally oversized head compartment. The other neat thing I want to point out is the head door insert, the storage uh, insert inside the head door. Have room here for shampoos, soaps, also uh, a, a netting bag, a mesh bag if you wanted to put things in that you didn't want to fly around or bounce around. Additional storage is utilized in the, into the design of the head door, which accents and complements both the upper and lower cabinetry. Next, I'd like to talk about the suspension bucket seats at both the driver and passenger uh, location. These are suspension seat bases, shock absorbing seat bases that absorb much of the pound uh, of, of rough water. They also have flip up bolsters at both the driver and passenger helm. And each one of these seats swivels 360 or has the ability to, to slide forward and aft to maximize your seating capacity and also adjust for differences in sizes between the primary and secondary driver. Moving into the oversized cockpit, we have comfortable seating for six or eight adults. What we call this cockpit layout is we call it a J-wrap with a secondary passenger seat behind the driver. The neat thing about this, this cushion pivots all the way forward, and then again, this is the location of your second carry-on cooler. Easy access in and out. It's a self-draining bin. Uh, also drains to the bilge, so if anything spills or you get moisture in there, it all drains and exits the boat. What I'd like to talk about over on the uh, rear port side is again the oversized storage on this side. This shock is uh, this cushion is supported with a stainless steel shock, and I'm going to go ahead and step down into this storage area. So again, at six one, you can see this uh, comes up high on my thigh. We're talking about three three and a half feet of depth in the overall storage area. So there's plenty of room to store large items, large carry-on items, water toys, uh, whatever you might have in mind. In addition, the access to that storage is second to none because the rear cushion is also completely removable. So you can get access to either the forward or the secondary portion of that storage cutout by removing this secondary cushion. What I'd like to talk about now in our cockpit seating is going into the turn and into the uh, electric sunbed. And this is a very comfortable seat in, in the corners of our boat. Again, the lean back on this corner seat has a 16 degree lumbar support and really is one of the most comfortable positions in the boat because of the way the upholstery is designed. New for 2016 and introduced last year uh, was a big hit is the electric sun lounge. So what this is, is a large sun, sun bed that lays out to a six foot plus sun bed without the use of filler cushions. And how that works is quite simply just hitting this button and allows the cushion, you can, uh, th this, this top cushion, uh, you can stop it in any single position that you want, but it allows you to go uh, all the way out to the full bed. Now this is again, six foot plus, and the neat thing about this is the built-in safety feature in this dual actuating electric seat base. And what do I mean by that? As a parent of three boys, one of the things that first comes to mind when you're designing boats is, is there a chance that a small child's arm or leg could get caught in that device? And the, ch the question is, yeah, it's possible. But the neat thing about this is that with our dual actuators, in the position of movement, if it encounters any obstacle that creates up to 50 to 60 pounds of pressure, the actuators will disengage. So it's a built-in safety mechanism, so uh, you don't have to worry about your, chi your child's arm or leg getting caught in that device and somehow getting broken. So again, a really neat safety feature that's built into this uh, dual actuating electric seat base. It's also a sealed system. Uh, because we thought about in advance what happens in saltwater applications. In saltwater applications, those pistons can corrode, can corrode and lock up. That's not the case since this is a sealed, separate system and a dual actuator, and uh, it's designed to, to handle all kinds of environments, whether it's freshwater or saltwater. So with this back in place, one of the ways I like to sit the best is about what I call a three position here, three quarter position. And what that allows you to do is to sit in the boat with complete lumbar support out the back of the boat. And one of the neat things about that is we've designed in our social swim transom design in this boat as well. This boat was introduced in 2014, but it got a brand new deck design just last year in 2016. The, new, the brand new deck incorporated the social swim transom design, the undermount cockpit storage drawers that we're gonna talk about in a minute, and also that forward fender storage just forward of the helm station that we talked about in our uh, initial walkthrough. Those three features didn't exist in the original design of this boat, but we went back and put an all new deck and designed an all new deck in 2016 to encompass those real customer friendly standard features. Now we did a pretty good job about talking about all the storage space when we went through the cockpit. 
but there's also an abundance of storage space in the floor. The 285 has both a forward and center floor storage area compartment. I'm gonna step down into it again to give you a perspective of just how deep this area is. So it accommodates large carry-on items, water toys, uh, different things that you might bring on board. The other neat feature to talk about is the undermount cockpit storage drawer. We pointed this out in one of our other boats. It's standard on our 255, 275, 285, and then also on our E-Series boats on the fours and the six. The neat thing about this is that standard cockpit table can be used either in the, in the bow portion or the cockpit portion for a dining area, a beverage area, just a conversation area. But when it's not in use, the neat place is you don't have to worry about where it goes or where it's stored. It's stored neatly out of the way in this undermount cockpit storage drawer that snaps in place under the driver's seat. Now you still have full access to this complete storage area when you don't need the table. So it's a really neat feature, really excited about that feature. Uh, all of our boats that have the electric seat base also have what's called a fingertip release access. So it's a simple one touch, snap in place, easy access to the engine compartment. The engine compartment is supported by two large stainless steel shocks and allows easy access to everything uh, related to your engine compartment. You'll also note again that the gray material, that's our spray and bed liner material. We do that in our engine compartments and our storage areas. And the value to the consumer is it sets up and wears like iron, it's non-marring, it eliminates mold and mildew, and when it's, after it sets up, it's watertight, so it helps seal the whole inter inside of the boat. The other thing to point out, just a small feature, but something that Crown Line does again, we don't cut any corners, we use a watertight compression tape to seal the entire engine compartment. It does two things, seals water from entering into the boat, it's watertight at 50% compression, but it also prevents a glass on glass, any squeaking noise in the engine compartment. I know if I, you get a new boat and there's a small squeak in the boat, sometimes it can drive you nuts. We're already thinking in advance how to eliminate that, how to keep that uh, uh, engine compartment not only quiet, but also watertight. So again, that, that, uh, that special tape is watertight, sealed at 50% compression. So when you're looking at a competitor's 27, 28 foot boat, make sure you're trying to match up the content. A lot of our manufacturers strip out all their content and come with an aggressive price. But when you go ahead and add back all the things that Crownline does standard, the value relationship quickly increases for Crownline. So don't be fooled by a, a real low price. That's a bait and switch type marketing uh, philosophy that we don't embrace at Crownline. We build the best boat with the longest list of standard features and we let the customer make decision about what's the best overall value. We appreciate your interest in our 285 SS. Again, it's one of the best running boats in the industry bar none.